Hello there. Uh, welcome to our stories during COVID-19. My name is Anne Tannum and I'm a poet and a creative coach. And I'm hoping over the next 15, 20 minutes or so um, to show you some tips and prompts around creative writing at home. Um, many of us during this, this time are either working from home or need to spend a lot more time at home. And um, I'm just hoping we're all keeping safe and well, um, but also finding ways of keeping our our minds and bodies healthy during this this rather strange time. And one of the great things about creativity is is creativity is is so important for our mental health. Um, so apart from being great fun, creative writing, it is also a really really good way of kind of checking in with ourselves and making sure that we're fine. So I hope that everybody is safe and well. Um, and, um, and as we begin um, looking at ways in which we can um, kind of find inspiration, even as we're at home, um, just in terms of the writing, um, when, when we don't have to worry about grammar or, or punctuation or spelling or any of those things. This is very much an exercise in just relaxing into the fun and enjoyment of writing. So this week's theme is safe at home and only, only recently somebody was saying that you know how we use language is so important isn't it so you know sometimes we're thinking we're stuck at home but if we change that from saying I'm stuck at home to saying I'm safe at home uh, and, that, and even that can make us feel a little bit better about the situation. So if you want to pause the video um, and go and find yourself something to write with, it can be if you have a notepad, great. Uh, if you have a scrap of paper, that's great. If, if, it's, your, if it's your shopping list, uh, that's great too. Just, just something that you can write with because at the end um, of the video, I am going to be inviting people um, to send what they've written in to, um, into me because I would love next week to be able to share that with, 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 um, with, with, with our listeners. Um, so we are, I said, this week it is about being safe at home. And um, I know when I began writing first, I began writing about 13 years ago. And, I, I, and when I began writing first, I, I thought that you had to write about really kind of big, exciting things that were happening in the world. Uh, and I didn't realize just how, how important it is to write about where we're at right now. Um, so if you think of it in terms of our houses, um, what are the things that might in, in, inspire us? So I'm just going to start by um, sharing with you a poem uh, by William Carlos Williams. Really, really simple. Uh, this is just to say, I have eaten the plums that were in the icebox and which you were probably saving for breakfast. Forgive me, they were delicious, so sweet and so cold. That's a really famous poem. Um, by William Carlos Williams and it is so simple and that's what makes it such a lovely a lovely piece of writing. So what I did yesterday was I wandered around the house and I found our own fruit bowl and as a, as a fellow says far, far from avocados we were reared um, but that was what was in the fruit bowl. Um, so with your piece of paper there just think about what, what what's in your fruit bowl at the moment and, and if it's not your fruit bowl no problem just maybe open your press and see what's in your press. What's your, what's your favorite fruit or what's your favorite food? Just, and just think about that. What's your favorite food or what's your favorite fruit? And then why is it your favorite? Um, I'm describing the color, the texture, the shape, the taste. So one thing about creative writing, it's really, really helpful if we use all our senses. So in the case of something like describing fruit, um, it, it's really great to even take the fruit and, and, and give it a sniff and see what, what, what does it remind you of. And I'm and, and describing the color. OK, I'm, I'm looking here at the avocado. Um, you know, what shade of green is that? Is it a dark green? Is it a light green? And the texture, you know, if you held the avocado in your hand and you and you rubbed it with your fingers, what what does it what does it feel like? What does it remind you of? And what about the shape? Is it oval? Is it oblong? Is it what what whatever it is? And then the taste. 
Um, and of course, if you don't have a fruit bowl and there's chocolate uh, available to you, you could be doing this with chocolate, which would be even nicer. Um, so again, uh, it would just be lovely to, 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 um, to just spend a few minutes um, writing down something about your favorite food and describing the color, the texture, the shape, the taste, and just see what words are popping into your, um, popping into your mind when you're writing it. Now we're going to move on to a, um, when I was thinking about the, the um, being, at, being at home, this poem um, came to my mind by Seamus Heaney and it's, and, it's, and it's a famous piece, but uh, I, again, I thought it really celebrated the domestic, it really celebrated home. Um, so I wanted to share it with you today. When all the others were away at mass, I was all hers as we peeled potatoes. They broke the silence, let fall one by one, like solder weeping off the soldering iron. Cold comfort set between us, things to share gleaming in a bucket of clean water. And again, let fall. Little pleasant splashes from each other's work would bring us to our senses. So while the parish priest at her bedside went hammer and tongs at the prayers for the dying, and some were responding, and some were crying. I remembered her head bent towards my head, her breath in mine, our fluent dipping knives, never closer the whole rest of our lives. And if you were looking for another writing prompt, you could read over the poem here. And if there are any words in there that you really liked, you could take them out. And if any of the words in there brought a memory of your own to mind, then maybe you'd like to share that memory to write that down. I love the word gleaming in a bucket of clean water. That word gleaming I really like. So just have a look and see if there are any words in there that really strike you or any phrases that you really liked and you could begin a little bit of your own writing by just taking one of those lines and starting with that that's another way of of kind of getting your own creative writing started Another thing that um, many of us have around the house are photographs. And there's nothing like a photograph for bringing back memories. So as I wandered around the house yesterday, um, in, in preparation for today's video, I found this photograph. Uh, and this is a photograph of my four kids when they were young. Um, and they were only, only really, really small then. And, um, and I remembered seeing this photograph a, a few years ago had uh, prompted me to write a poem um, and the name of that poem is Your Children Are Not Your Children and so there's just a line from that poem that the garden sprouts a sandbox in the shape of a green turtle, a slide, a double swing, toys half hidden in the grass and you can see behind Dara the youngfellas head there and um, there's the green, the, 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 the sandbox in the shape of the green turtle so um, when I began writing many years ago, uh, I was afraid that I didn't have anything important to say because I thought that you had to write about kind of big, exciting events in life. Uh, and then I discovered that um, the real joy of writing for me was capturing those very small moments and those, very, and those, and those memories. So I would invite you to 
um, ha strolling around your house and see can you find a photograph or something in your house maybe that you brought back from holidays um, and when you look at it what memories does it bring up and write those down and again I'm just I just that's just a vase from from our house and you can see it's pretty mucky um, and that vase came from a, a holiday many many years ago um, and I think I think it was in Spain we were camping and when I see that, I have such memories of, of sunshine and, and heat um, and being inside a very small uh, little room where there, were, where there were many, many of these vases and then carefully choosing, choosing that particular one. And one of the hands broke off a good few years ago. Um, so he only has one, he only has one hand. So you can see that even by a simple object like that, it, it, it brings up memory. So I'm just going to invite you to want, have, have a wander around um your house and see if you can find a photo or it might be a momentum memento um that you have brought back from your holidays or any anywhere and when you look at it what memories does it bring up and write those down And just like we mentioned earlier in terms of using the five senses, it can be really, uh, really makes our writing um, kind of come to life if we can use our, if we can use our sense, uh, senses. So if you are looking at a photograph and it could be a photograph of a loved one who's just, who is just beside you, but just looking at it and, and, and seeing, closing your eyes and seeing, can you remember a particular incident or a particular day that you spent with them? And try, try uh, when you're going back into that memory to see can you remember what the day was like and um, can you hear anything? Can you taste anything? Can you can you smell anything from the men uh, from the memory? And so the memory that is here uh, that vase brings up for me. I, I remember, I remember the heat of the sun on the kind of the dusty, on the dusty road and and, and my flip flops. So that, that comes even to a, a, kind of a, quite a strong memory. Um, and I remember, you know, the, the, the taste when it's really hot, uh, almost the, the, the taste of the kind of how parched I was in the back of my throat. And that, so that, 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 that's what the memories that that draws are bringing up for me. So what are the memories I've been brought up for you? And even if there's only a word comes out or a phrase comes out, don't worry about it making sense. That's the wonderful thing about creative writing. It's just initially, before we begin to try and kind of pull it together as a poem or as a story, it's really just about catching those snatches and um, those, little, those little phrases or words that help us to remember. Now again, I'm not too sure where 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 you are in 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 the city. I just again, I hope really hoping that you're safe and well, um, and I hope that you do have a view from a window. Um, so this is out my bedroom window. Uh, this is what I can see. Uh, I can see uh, the, the the tree, the sycamore tree, that's very newly coming into bloom. Um, I can see the the red car in my neighbour's drive, and. Um, I can see kind of the, 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 the light, the, the light blue and grey sky behind it. So what can you see from your window? Have a look out and, and, and see. Are there people passing by or can you see cars, bicycles? If you have a garden, what's growing in your garden? Describe what you can see from your window. It can be any window in the house. It could be if you're looking out the back. 
If I look out my attic window here, I can see across the houses of Drimna, across kind of the back. And if I look even further, I can see, um, I can actually see the Phoenix Park. I can see at the monument in the Phoenix Park. So what can you see from your window? One of the things um, that we know can, can help us in a time like this where, where things are, are very difficult and, and many of us will have, may have been sick ourselves or may have a loved one who has been sick. So it, it, it is a very difficult time. Um, and the, even for those of us who, who have remained healthy, we may be feeling quite lonely and isolated. But what can help us is to, to have something that we're thankful for. So um, I just have today, I am thankful for this jigsaw that's keeping me occupied and away from the fridge. So we got this jigsaw um, about a few, kind of a few days ago and we've all in the house been working on it. Um, and it really has, um, I've, I've just enjoyed it. Um, when I finished work, been able to, to sit down and just help let my mind focus on something else. So if you could write down what you're grateful for today. And again, you can, you know, it can just be one word or it can be a sentence or you can, you can, you can write a paragraph, but what is it that you're grateful for today? And then it's, in, it's also important to acknowledge what we're missing. So since the lockdown, I miss cycling into the city center to meet friends. That's one of the, the big things that I'm missing um, because the city center is just two kilometers. It's, it's beyond my two kilometer uh, range. So I can't go into town. And I really miss that because town is such a wonderful place um, to cycle and to, to meet people and have a cup of, a cup of coffee. So what, what is it you're missing? What, what are you missing at the moment? And again, it might just be a single word or a sentence or it, it could be longer what, what, what you're missing. So we're remembering what we're grateful for, but we're also remembering what it is that we're missing. And when you, when you have written um, whatever it is you've written, I'd absolutely love um, to, 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 to read it and, and perhaps to share a few lines of it uh, at next week's video. So if you're happy to send in um, the, whatever you've written uh, about any of the things that we talked about, and I, I'll just go back over them again before we finish up, um, email them to Anne, A-N-N-E, at creativecoaching.ie. C O R E A T I V E C O A C H I N G dot I E and at creative coaching dot I E. And I would absolutely love to hear um, what you've written and I said we can, we, we can share it then next week. So just to fly back to remind us of what we've done today. Um, we, be, we began by just looking at what was all the, the simple things that are around the house. And in this case, we chose fruit. Um, and you were writing about your favorite fruit or perhaps your favorite food. And we were describing the color and the texture, the taste and the shape. Um, we looked at Seamus Heaney's poem while the others were away at mass and picked one word perhaps or a phrase that really struck us and did some writing around that. 
um, we looked at having a look at our houses at a photograph um, that, that evoked a memory for us. It could be a photograph or it could be an object that we brought back from our holidays or any, anything that just brings back memories and writing down those memories and what, and, and, and what, they, what, that, what the memory contains. And then we looked at out, out our window, what do we see from our window? And then what, we, what we're grateful for today, um, what we're missing um, since the lockdown. So I'm, just, I'm, going, to, I'm going to leave it for, there that, that, so that people can see it. And uh, I'm really hoping um, to, to read out some of, your, uh, some of your work next week. And in the meantime, stay safe and well, and I look forward to seeing you soon. All the best.